Okay, so the Center of Disease Control in America have actually linked toxins from plastic bottles in connection with the rise in autism diagnosis. What? Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Aspie World. My name is Dan, I have autism ADHD. And if you're new around here, I do videos like this every single week. So if you want to keep in the loop and learn more, remember to hit the subscribe button. It actually helps me out a lot because when you subscribe and like and leave a comment and stuff like that, it helps me grow this channel, which actually helps me reach more people and we all help each other, which is a good thing. Anyway, moving on from that. This article I came across was really, really interesting. Um, the rise in autism diagnosis versus people trying to find a cause or a reason for it, right? Oh, and FYI, guys, if you haven't already, you can download my free Autism Life Hacks PDF book at autismhacks.net right now. Okay, so the average of the, um, uh, of the American population for having autism used to be one in 60 people. Over here in the UK, it's one in 100. But as of recently, the last two or three years, it's now one in 44 children in the United States who have an autism diagnosis, which is kind of rapid. That's a rapid increase in like five years. Now, Thinking about this, what are the reasons for it? Now, there are many reasons that this could be apparent. One of the reasons could be that we have more um, better diagnostic uh, criteria. We have um, better trained, skilled professionals doing this. Also, you have more advocates like myself talking about it openly and people are kind of going, oh yeah, I think this makes sense. This is something that impacts my life or my kid's life or whatever. So it's more likely that they would go and seek a diagnosis rather than back in the day when they probably wouldn't because, well, they wouldn't know. But not only that, the most interesting thing is that this specific uh, study talks about the toxic chemicals that make plastic kind of flexible and durable. Um, so basically they're saying that because autism affects um, 1 in 44 kids rather than 1 in 60, uh, the study is showing that the toxic chemical from food packaging called phthalates um, is interacting with the folate, which means that basically the chemical that is used for the production of brain growth in pregnant people. So if these phthalates are in in fact, interfering or interacting with folate or the production of folate within the body of pregnant women, then this could cause a lot of issues um, for pregnant women. And then they're saying that this lack of folate could actually help uh, increase the risk of someone developing autism you know, from, from that defect. Now, although the CDC has, sh has shown that there are a number of studies that point to the plastic toxicity linking to the rise in autism, there's actually no concrete evidence that lands this right bang in the middle and say, this is exactly what it is. But there is a potential kind of uh, easy fix to all this. Say that it's true, say that this um, chemical, these, these phthalates actually impact the production of folate um, in pregnant women. Well, the simple fix is that anybody at the age of birthing children should take a supplement of folic acid because that would help increase the amount of folate in your body. So this is kind of like a an interesting study, I guess, just because they still don't know like what is it, if it's environmental, um, if autism is genetic and all this stuff. Everything points to genetics because environmental is kind of hard to really say that it's, it's caused by environmental factors. But I'm guessing that some environmental factors could potentially pay a, a huge risk of, of having um, all kinds of complications in the production of humans when you're kind of, you know, inside your mother, uh, fusing together and all the brain cells and everything going together. So really simple you know you, you roll out folic acid as a daily vitamin for women who are coming of age to bear children now that's a really simple fix to something like this which i think is really interesting um but then again you have to count in the fact of like the price of supplements is it just a bogus article who who actually knows is it is it something that's really going to concern people or not anyway guys i'd love to know your comments drop it in a comment down below i love every single one of you for commenting and i read every single one so do that right now i'll see you in the next video peace